What's up guys? Alia and I are on our way up north. Uh, we're going to do a little bear scouting. Uh, I was fortunate enough to draw my red oak tag here in Michigan this year. So this will be the first episode of my DIY Michigan bear hunt. Um, I'm not trying to pay an outfitter. I'm just going to run up whenever I can and, and throw out some bait and try to bait them in. And then opening day for a week, I took that off work and I'm going to try to give me a bear. So stay tuned for this black bear series. At the end of the series, after I get a bear, I will I will not give out exactly where I'm hunting, but I'll tell you the public property that I'm on. And it's public. I'll tell you the area. I, I don't. I just don't want to give it out before I start hunting it. Um, people with hounds and everything else. I mean, more power to them, but I don't need people in my area. It took me 10 years to get this tag. So I'm not really worried about people hunting this after I post this video because uh, it'll take me another 10 years to get another tag. But stay tuned. And by the end of the series, I will give out all my lessons learned and all my secrets that I've got from this hunt. Today, day one, we're headed up north. We're going to check out the area, get our eyes on, and, and just kind of see the territory. Um, in a few weeks, we can start baiting. So then I will come back up and I'll actually pick specific sites you're allowed to bait up to three per hunter. So in a few weeks we're allowed to start baiting, I'll get up here and I'll make my cribs and I'll put my bait down and pick my trees for the stands and I'll do a video for that too. Look at all of the deer flies. I have never, ever seen so many deer flies in my life. This is ridiculous. Allie says we're not getting out. She says we're turning around, we're going back. She said game over. We're done. Yep. Oh my goodness. I've never. Oh, that's hundreds of this looks like we ran over a beehive. There's so many deer flies. Okay, so Allie and I made it back to the first spot I had pointed on the map. It's about 100 yards from where I can last get the truck to the creek, and the creek's really, really shallow, and it's really small. My plan was to float down the creek and get some eyes on some area where I could set up some cribs in the future. Well, Allie's not prepared for that, and I, don't have, I didn't prepare myself with a partner that was prepared for that. So we're not going to do that today. We, got, we walked to the creek edge. And we look both ways. I walked down a little bit, marked some spots on, on my phone. And I'm going to come back in the future and do a little further exploring. Um, I also have a question. What do you guys think about this? So this is right here. This is a spot that looks good to me. Like it would be good for bear. Like I could park and walk down there and bait at the edge of the woods between the edge of the woods and the swamp but my thought is if I can do that so can every Billy Bob now granted it does look like you're not getting any vehicles down there any trucks maybe a four-wheeler but you could definitely easily walk down there what do you guys say do you think a spot like that is worth trying to set up a bait crib or do you think I should just pass my plan is to get to the nastiest, thickest spot that nobody's willing to go and then set up some cribs there. I'm gonna I'm gonna carry my canoe hundred yards from the last spot my truck can get to the crib, float all my bait down or upstream, go upstream or downstream, maybe both, put one in each direction, like I don't know, half a mile or so to a mile, and then from there get off on the other side of the creek in the swamp where you definitely can't get a four-wheeler or anything and then walk it in that's my plan um, I don't know how many people are willing to do that there might be some out there but I'm gonna try to get away from all the the bear hounds and everyone else is it worth doing a spot like this you think this one I just saw is it worth it what do you guys think should I put one there anyways I'm allowed three bait sites should I put one there and just try it out and see if I get anything on my trail camera anybody walking down there I don't know leave your comments down below but I got one more spot 
Um, we're going to drive to, might drive around on the north end of it and just see if there's trails driving through the hardwoods. I really kind of want to stay out of the hardwoods. I think in my thought process is that the hardwoods, there's going to be hound hunters in there on the second day and they'll push all the bear around. I don't want to be sitting on my bait and then all of a sudden some dogs run in and scare all my bear off. Um, I'm thinking that they'll push them south into the swamp where I will be. That's kind of what I'm also hoping if I still have a tag by the second day. So we're going to drive around to the second spot I had marked, see about that access, and then possibly drive around to the north end and just see what the trails look like going through those hardwoods. If I think people are going to be accessing that with dogs or not. So here we go on to the second spot. All right. Jeb and I are out here. We found a trail. It looks like it's a human trail. Like everything here looks like it's been knocked down. And I don't know that bears would do that or deer would do that, but you can see like this guy right here is just knocked down. But I'm not seeing any boot tracks in it no boot tracks at all i did see what it looks to be like an old bear track not a big one a little one an old little bear track maybe it is a bear that's a jub track maybe it is a bear in here and maybe it's been somebody dragging something back here i don't know what they'd be dragging back here this time of year Unless they were growing some plants, they should only be doing on private property. But yeah, I don't know. I think this might be a game trail with a black bear. I think that's a bear track right there. This right here looks like a bear track, an old one. We're in a thick cedar swamp, real thick. I think I might bait in here. The only problem is I do think this is very accessible and many people are gonna be here. I really do. Like, I found this right off the driven path, and I feel like there's going to be a lot of humans in here. I don't know. I don't think that's a bear thing. That looks more like a... Yeah, maybe. Maybe a bear claw? Up here? Oh, great. Yeah, poison oak or whatever that is. Oh, well, yeah, that's just what I need to be doing, touching that. Wonderful. Maybe that's a bear claw. Maybe that's a knife mark. I'm not seeing any hair. But yeah, I definitely think I found a couple old bear tracks in this trail. I think there's definitely a lot of deer tracks in this trail. There's definitely deer using it. But I don't feel like deer knocked down the cattails like that. I just don't I feel like this is a human knocking it down. Maybe a bear, but I don't know. I'm not experiencing bear hunting. You guys let me know. Would they knock down cattails like a human would? I feel like they could. They're big enough and wide enough to. Those tracks I found, I don't feel they're like very big. Little bear if it is one. But I feel like bears move a little more stealthy through the woods than knocking down a bunch of a bunch of cattails like that. Anyways, Allie didn't like getting out in this spot either, so she's back in the truck. Uh, I think that's going to be it for today. We may drive up to the north end and see how accessible those hardwoods are up there. But we're running out of time. All right guys, so that's gonna do it for today. Uh, got out of that swamp there. My phone stopped videotaping, cut me off short, but 
we're almost to Allie's dad's cabin now and uh, we're gonna enjoy campfire tonight and hang out but I'll be back up in a few weeks to set up some bait sites and I got some good spots marked off got to fine-tune them a little bit but uh, overall today's mission was a success I'd like to get in there a little deeper maybe next time I'll bring someone who's not a city gal with me but uh hope you enjoy this first episode of our bear series here field freezer outdoors <laughs> 